When your 8 bit do software won't open or work properly, there are several key troubleshooting steps to resolve the most common issues. First, check your operating system language settings. The 8 bit do Ultimate software may only launch if your system is set to a supported language. Next, try running the software with administrator privileges. Right-click the software and select Run as Administrator to bypass permission issues. Keep your controller firmware updated using the official 8-bit do tool, but only update if you're experiencing issues. Unnecessary updates can sometimes introduce new problems. Try different connection modes like X input or D input to see which works better with your system. Different modes provide different levels of compatibility. For macOS users, check your gaming controller settings, especially after system updates like Sequoia 15.4, which have been known to cause controller recognition issues. These compatibility and reinstall solutions address the most common 8-bit do software issues. Try these steps in order to resolve software launching and recognition problems. When basic troubleshooting fails, driver issues are often the culprit. Start by updating your Bluetooth drivers through Device Manager. If automatic updates don't work, manually download drivers from your PC manufacturer's website. Sometimes older Bluetooth drivers actually work better than newer ones. Another common fix is disabling USB Selective Suspend in Power Options. This prevents Windows from automatically turning off USB devices to save power. If software conflicts are suspected, perform a clean boot. This starts Windows with minimal programs running helping identify if third-party software is causing issues. Try these additional troubleshooting steps. Test your controller on another device to isolate the problem, completely repair the controller, or uninstall the Bluetooth device from Device Manager and restart. If all troubleshooting steps fail, contact 8BitDo support directly. They may have specific firmware updates or beta software versions that address your particular issue.